Well, we're going to talk about illegal numbers. And when I heard that there were these things, illegal numbers, that some numbers were illegal, I was shocked and surprised as well. Today, in the modern world, numbers are used uh, uh, as keys to encrypt secret information. They're used to uh, encrypt or protect uh, DVDs as well, so that you can't illegally copy films of a DVD. You need to protect those keys. So if you distribute those secret keys, those secret numbers, uh, this is a real problem. And some people are claiming that it would be illegal to distribute those numbers. And so it's the number itself that becomes illegal. And there are some other problems as well, because you can consider a digital photograph or a computer program as simply as a, a string of binary digits. And then a string of binary digits is a number. So there is a number for a photograph or a computer program. So if you distribute the number, you could sort of work out the original computer program or the image. And if that's an illegal computer program that's hacking data, then does the number become illegal itself? To show you the problem, uh, I thought, I don't want to write down any illegal numbers in this video, so I thought, I thought I'd come up with my own example. So imagine if we decide to trademark the name number file. So we're going to write down number file first of all. I'm going to use capital letters because I like the number we got at the end better. So I'm going to use capital letters for number file. I've written out the word number file. Now each character uh, in ASCII has a binary representation. So let's do that. So for the capital N, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And now I can do that for the U as well. But I better get them right. You'll know they'll, you'll know they'll notice the H. Zero, one, oh, one. Woo! So that's number file uh, written as a binary string. So if we joined all that together, that's just one big binary number. Uh, do you want to know what that number is? So that number in decimal is 9440177. So this is number file written as a number, the number file number, right? And if I catch any of you distributing this number about on the internet, right? You're, you're infringing our trademark, okay? Don't let me catch you doing that. There is a serious problem. So I'm a mathematician, not a lawyer. I can't talk about the full implications of this. I'm hoping that I'm giving you the extreme case, a simplified extreme case. But at the very least, this is what we're trying to avoid, that numbers themselves become illegal. That's what we're trying to avoid because the implications of it are bizarre. So you can't distribute these illegal numbers, but then can you distribute the number minus one? Or if I write down a list of numbers where some of them are illegal, am I allowed to distribute that list? I hope that it's distributing the number and the intent to, copy, to infringe copyright, but the extreme case is what we're trying to avoid. It has become a problem. In recent years, there have been a couple of cases where people like Sony have uh, sued people for distributing their secret uh, encryption keys for their PlayStation 3. And uh, the Motion Picture Association of America uh, have uh, forced people to remove posts that were encryption keys for their DVDs, uh, which people were using to illegally copy DVDs. This annoyed the internet. Ah, the internet. This annoyed them. So then they started to taunt these people. So what they started to do next is they would take these numbers and to taunt, they would then turn these numbers into hexadecimal. And hexadecimal defines colours as well. So then they become illegal colours. If I do this for number file, I've worked this out already. This number, which is 94 septillion and something. If I write it in hexadecimal, 5D, 42, 42, four, five. So this is the number file number written as hexadecimal. Now these groups here uh, define a color. Each of those groups define a color and then we've got a little bit extra. So what you can do then is you can make something like this. Uh, so this, uh, these are the three colours defined by the number file number plus that little extra bit. And then if you start posting this around on internet forums, again, 
you'll be infringing our trademark, right? And we'll be round to come round your house, right? And we're going to stamp on all your favourite toys, all right? So I don't want to catch any of you doing that. So here are some of those taunting protests that James referred to in the video. These are coloured flags based on the DVD and PlayStation encoding numbers. Of course, another issue we didn't touch on this video surrounds copywriting of numbers like Pi, and there's a lot of stories involving that too. Maybe we'll talk about that another time. A quick thanks to James Cluett, who actually turned the Mona Lisa into zeros and ones for me. And if you'd like to read more about that, I'll put a link in the video description. And lastly, because we're a lot more relaxed about our illegal numbers here at Numberphile, James Grime and I have put that piece of paper used in the video on eBay in case anyone wants to get their hands on it. Again, links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with more videos soon.